Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. All of us have had to deal with this situation. That is an underexposed image. Often it's because we screwed up. We just underexposed the scene. Sometimes though, we may underexpose on purpose. In the case of this image, I didn't want those windows to blow out. So I really underexposed it. Bring it into Lightroom. We go over to the basic tab and we want to open up the shadow. So I go to the shadow slider, move that to the right, and it's just not making it bright enough. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to deal with a situation such as this. All right, I mentioned we have this underexposed image and I said you could go to shadows and open those up. Moving it all the way to plus 100 is not making it bright enough. Next thing you might want to try doing is go to the exposure slider and bring that up. And that brings up, you know, opens up those shadows nicely, but it blows out the windows. And that's what we want to avoid doing. Well, what I suggest you do now, there's first of all, I should say there's probably a number of different ways you could deal with this. In this video, I'm going to show you one way that I think is the easiest way. So before you do any adjustments at all, go down to the calibration tab. And where it says process version 5, this is the process engine that Lightroom is using to do the adjustments. Click on that drop down and change it to version 2. This is an earlier process engine. Go back to the basic tab and you'll notice that some of the sliders have changed. We now have these weird sliders, recovery and fill light. We still have exposure, but we also have a brightness slider. Well, the advantage of changing it to uh, process engine version two is the fill light slider. Take this slider, move it to the right, and you could see now we're making those shadows much brighter than the shadow slider in process version five, four, or three could do. So just move those to the right and you could see that it made those shadows much brighter. And if you look very closely at the windows, when I do that, it's really not affecting the windows that much. A little bit, but not much. Not as much as if you move the exposure slider. And you can see there's a lot of noise in this image I have to deal with because it was so much underexposed. But that really works. Now, if you want to regain some of the detail in those highlights, you go to recovery, move that to the right, and you can see it bringing back some of the details in those highlights. Really, those two sliders will do all the heavy lifting. Now you could process it the way you probably normally would. Um, go to contrast, you could add contrast to the image. Clarity adds clarity. Uh, vibrance and saturation work the same way. Uh, the tone curve, all the other sliders, will pretty much work the same way that they do in uh, process engine version five. So you could come through and process this uh, image as you normally would. The only two sliders that are different are recovery and fill light. And you of course don't have shadows, highlights, whites sliders. You don't have those anymore. So you could come in and just work on the image from this point forward as you normally would. And really, I think that's probably the easiest way to deal with an underexposed image in Lightroom. I hope that helps, and I'd like to thank everyone who watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.